Excuse me, do you mind if you uh, just drop me off here? Whatever you're okay here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just sure. drop me off anywhere. Thank you. Uh, if okay? So it says he asked me where I'm from. I said Vietnam. He then said my girlfriend is Chinese. So I tried to guess where people are from because they all look the same to me. Um, everything is fine. However, just in future, what you said to me was quite offensive about how you were trying to guess where I'm from because you think we all look the same. And then you said, oh, I couldn't tell like where you were from. So I, because you look a little bit different. That's very racist. Sorry. But I don't, I didn't guess the way you could be. I said maybe you look a little bit different to them. Please don't get me wrong. My English is not the, as a perfect. Yeah. I, my girlfriend is Chinese. I love the Asian people because they're so polite, so kind. Right. We do as a like, you know, like a joke. See, I said this, the, my Buddha is the, her name. And then this is the, my girlfriend. Please don't get me wrong. I love the Asian people. They're so polite. They're, yeah, they're it so don't, kind. So there's Please a difference. Uh, no, no, no. The differ there's a difference between you loving Asian people and there's a difference between you saying that we all look the same and that you were trying to guess where I'm from because I look different to them. To them is that that's the key word. So sorry. So about them. I, it, is it is it exactly because of the I don't have a perfect English? No, no, no it's fine. And like I I'm I really understand sorry. where you're coming from, but yeah. at this moment I don't feel comfortable in this car. I'm, I'm gonna get another one. I'm really, madam, please forgive me. I okay. I really don't mean it about that, madam. It, yeah, okay. If something be wrong, this company will fire me. And I I have a daughter. I swear to God, I don't mean it. Yeah. Please forgive me. I, I, I'm the, I swear to God, I don't mean it of this. Yeah, I, I know, really like, sorry. I am, I appreciate that you don't mean it from a bad place, and I'm not going to say anything to the company. Yeah, I'm just, I, I, feel, I just want I feel you. I I do wrong now. No, I, no, no. I really, I don't know what, what to do, that, madam. I'm telling you, I'm not going to say anything to the company She's because I understand it. that you're saying it's a barrier of language. Yeah. I get that, but I'm just saying to you in future, just don't say I things swear, like that because it is God, it's very, very mean, offensive to, to God, us. I, I swear to God, this no meaning of this. this it's fine. Is, it's fine. I've got a meet. I've got a meeting. I've got a meeting to go you, to. You, you get, get out because of me. I'm yes, really because I don't sorry. feel comfortable. I don't I'm feel really comfortable sorry, to be here. Please forgive you me. have to respect my wishes. I, I don't feel comfortable. Them. I'm going to book an Uber. Please forgive me. So dramatic. Right, don't worry. Thank you. Here come the crocodile tears. raging. So this donut's a TikToker and as you can probably tell she's accusing the taxi driver of being a racist just because he's asked her where she's from and he said she doesn't look the same as other Asian people that he's seen before. Now most of us with a brain know that he's not being racist, it's not coming from a hateful place, he's just trying to start a conversation. He's not saying oh I don't like Asian people because Asian people all look the same. The guy's an immigrant with a daughter probably trying to do the best job he can, talk to people so he gets a good rating and you're trying to make out that he's a racist. And the only reason why she's doing all this is because she wants to look like the victim for attention and views. I'll put on the little crocodile tears so everyone feels sorry for me well no one felt sorry for her everyone saw through the bullshit instead of people feeling bad for her everyone felt bad for the taxi driver and they turned on her and apparently it's not the first time she's done this take a look at this according to this user she has been involved in three incidents of racism and in the most recent one she was accused of using this uber driver's comments to gain clout for views and a lot of people weren't happy with what she has done that's not the racism bro it's just how you look it's like somebody say hey you look like you from africa am i gonna say that's racist many of those who react to this TikTok post were furious. She was being dubbed as a Karen and some were saying that she needs help. And to top that off, they called her a sensitive snowflake and said that she's a piece of crap. Because apparently the driver repeatedly apologized for what he said. And as seen in the video, his English was not that good. And many viewers were bothered that he might lose his job because of this. What's worse is that he would be so traumatized he won't be able to make small talk again. And as usual, whenever people call out or turn against these types of Muppets, what do they do? They backtrack, they take down the video and they come out with some fake ass apology. Because of the major backlash she received, the controversial video was taken down from her page and comments from her other videos were turned off. She even posted an apology on her Instagram story to calm people down, but the damage has already been done and now people are thinking otherwise. People are starting to point out that if the intended purpose of you telling somebody they're uncomfortable and they apologize or if they offend you and they apologize then why post the video to begin with this is just another bad example of rage baiting for clout and it shows the dangers of exploiting cancel culture only to end up being canceled herself
You've only got to look at a couple of parts of this apology to know it's bullshit. It says there's been a very big misunderstanding from the video I posted about the cab driver. I can only say I'm sorry it came off in a bad light as it was never my intention. Stop the cap! Yes, it was your intention. Your intention was to look like the victim and make him look like the villain. It says I never did it for views or clout. Bullshit. That's what this whole thing was about. Now it does say at least that the man did not lose his job, but it still does not change the fact that this woman is a complete and utter c What is your name? What? What is your name? Jack. Jack. Jack what? Jack off. Okay, his name is Jack off. Wait, he's getting away. Bye, bitch. Nicole. My name is Carmen. I'm from Wales and I do... I don't yes. like the lips. I don't know. <laughs> the face. Influencing, um, events promoter, tattooing, and I'm a practice manager and optician. Too much lip filler and I'm not keen on the so colour of the hair. And what I want in a man is someone that can keep up with my energy because I'm 100 miles an hour. So no. No. I mean, can you blame the granny? She can barely move her face. She can't even show expression or emotion. I think a lot of these girls in the future will regret a lot of the work they have on their face because the thing is, once you start, you can't stop. And if you look like that now, imagine what you're going to look like at granny's age. A great relationship right now, but I'm still getting over my ex. Oh, oh no! Is this your girl? I have to talk to you today. I want to verify one more time. This is your girl, right? Yeah. She just told me she's in a happy relationship, but she's still getting over her ex. How do you feel about that? I mean, it is what it is. He put the shades back on. He said it is what it is. But on the real, why are you doing that? Why aren't you over him yet? We got together the day I broke up with my ex. He started it. It's not my fault. What do you think about that, bro? Cap. Should I run or should I stay? Let him know in the comment section, please. If he's got in a relationship with her knowing that she's broken up with her guy the same day, then he's also a muppet and he shot himself in the foot. But I'm not going to make excuses for her either. She's a grown ass woman playing little girls games, getting in relationships with different people on the same day she's broken up with another guy. Maybe they deserve each other. If a man cares about you, he's right. not going to want what is his being displayed for the world. That, that's a man right. caring about you. I agree, and I said this yesterday in a different clip. The difference is with the clip yesterday, the woman said... He said, you're wearing, you're dressed a little bit too revealing. Put on more clothes. He has. I told him I was a baddie before you got me. I'm going to still be a baddie while I'm with you. Oh, I shouldn't have to be more modest than when I met you because you knew what I was like when I met you. So now that we're in a relationship, it shouldn't deter you if I'm wearing the exact same same stuff out that I met you in. Now I have actually said this in other videos and I should have been clearer yesterday but I do more or less agree with her. If you've met a girl who dresses in a more revealing way or basically dresses like a hoe and you made out when you met her that you didn't mind that and now you're with her and you're saying that you don't want her to dress like that. That's your fault and you shot yourself in the foot bruv. You can't just expect her to just completely change but if you've been with a girl for a little while and she completely changes the way she dresses to make you feel uncomfortable or get attention from other guys then there's only one place she belongs. She belongs to the streets.